Hello everybody and welcome to the Markfield Beam Engine and Museum. This engine goes back to Victorian days, 1888. And back then, this engine and the whole site was very important for the local community. Not just the local community, but the whole of Tottenham and Wood Green and the high grounds such as Muswell Hill, Alexandra Palace. It would flow down, to the lowest, flow down to the lowest point, which would be the River Lee. But when it gets to the lowest point here, what would happen to that sewage was these pumps, these pumps would pump it up from down below the engine here up to these big beds over here. I'll tell you now why this is called a beam engine. If you look up the top, you'll see... What are you doing, man? But it wasn't even me! If you've got any questions, we'll move down to the end and you can ask me questions when we get to the end. Is that okay? See you at the end. Okay, this engine is a hundred horsepower, but before this engine was here, there was another smaller engine in the building next door. So if you look up, you might see there's window arches, so that wall was the outside. The smaller engine was only 50 horsepower. So outside, what I'm pointing out, all those concrete walls that were filtered in the second tanks, what used to happen, they all the solid stuff in there, Victoria. eventually when it's dried out, it's I just started downstairs. I just started downstairs, you know, a big falling. Whatever. My guy, come on, come on. Blocks, and that was known as Tottenham Cave. And what used to happen was, I thought we were coming. Collect it, and it, uh, That's what I thought. He'd be, he'd be paid money for taking it away, and they did take it out to the farm. Hey, you look, it's actually bear crap down here. Why did you come there? I'm not going to get These men are shook. These men are shook. There's only one way we could go. It looks like a horrible history episode in here. What happened? Rock. <laughs> Can't lie, bro. I think it's you. Shut up, you No, boss, don't do that. Hey, excuse me, boss. Where's everyone? Good day, young lady. You've been expecting you all. Expecting us. <laughs> We're all going for this guy. What's going on? We are the recipients, and we put and we transport here to give a very special quest. Quest? What? Like Lord of the Rings? Uh, it's not Lord of the Rings. You know Frodo, Gollum, and them man. Bro, if it's 1884, they're not going to know what that is, you clown. Silly. Ah, joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is mad. Why are we here? And what's with this quest? We've been brought to 1884 to give yourself a new perspective on the Marvel Beam and the things we've done to it. And the quest is very simple. To keep what we have done alive in your life. How could something so old keep to something new? On the contrary, this place will be one of the most important landmarks in the town of Tottenham. Without this indigo building, soon we will continue to flood our rivers and destroy our livelihoods. Don't you guys have toilets or a dump to put the waste? Sadly, we do not. We used to have a drainage system, but access our make a tractor there. The canals were left untreated and it opened since 1858. Whoa, that's like... 26 years, you fool. I was getting there. So, you guys have just been living with the smell? Sadly, but not for long. My brother and I have been contracted to develop a new filter system to ensure that this wonderful town can enjoy it. And That's good and all, but it seems like an old people problem. Word. I still don't get why you brought us here. I hear that. It seems like it's something you man fixed already. Yeah. That is where your quest comes in, my boy. Even though we've invented a solution for now, there will come a time when no one can. 
And that's really all of you to, to continue to keep our environment clean, to ensure our future generations have, clean, have a clean and healthy world to live in. That's nasty. I'm not trying to pick up rubbish and poo. Well, your quest is more meaningful than that. It can be as simple as making sure your own needs are taken care of and you tend to do the same. Would you want your children or your children's children to live in a world that they can't enjoy? Mm, yeah. I hear that too. You? Yeah. Mm, I understand. Well, I think that's time. I think you have to go. All right. See if you're a bit my boy. No? <laughs> you got aired. Oh, what's so that? embarrassing. I know some Bye, sir. <laughs>